Construction 10. Constructing a triangle given the lengths of the three sides. So the key thing here is to visualise what you're looking at first. We're going to be using a pencil, ruler and compasses only. The first thing to do is visualise this. Let's just say we have a triangle uh, called ABC. And each of the lengths, let's say the length of AB is 9 centimetres. The length of BC is 6 centimetres and the length of AC is 7 centimetres. So let's visualise what that looks like. So let's just draw ourselves a triangle. Okay, let's make this our base, which is going to be AB and it's going to be 9 centimetres. This third point is going to be C, so um, we've got uh, BC is 6 centimetres and AC is seven. So that's what we want to look at, have, have some idea of, of what it's going to look like. It's important to make that visualisation because almost certainly if you don't do that, you then start making mistakes. It's obviously not going to be that, it's just a quick sketch. So, first thing we want to do is we want to uh, draw the first side. So, usually we'll take the largest side, uh, which is our base here, so that's nine centimetres. So we can draw a line segment of 9 centimetres. So label it AB. <coughs> now the second two sides, we're not just going to just blindly try and do 7 centimetres and 6 centimetres and hope they meet. We're going to do this more accurately. For this we need uh, a pair of compasses and a ruler. So we want to create two arcs that will intersect at the correct point. Each arc is going to be a certain distance away from AB. So we want to have a line that is going to be 7 centimetres. So, with this uh, compass set to 7 centimetres, we're going to start at A, because that's the side that the 7 comes from, and we're going to draw a large arc. We then take the ruler again, and this time do the second, uh, third measurement, which is six. So we set it to six. And this time we're starting obviously from B, since B is the point that six is coming out of, and draw a second arm. So we now have a point here where the two arcs are intersecting. And this is the point that's going to be C. And we connect up that intersecting point with each of A and B. Two line segments drawn. And we have our triangle corrected. I would strongly recommend, in, certainly in, in an exam situation, that you do not rub out any constructions because by keeping those constructions there, the examiner can see what you have done, how you've constructed it to ensure that you get the maximum number of marks possible.